I have a VIN. Watch the video to the very end because I'm going to sneak an Amazon gift card giveaway somewhere in this video. What's good guys? This is Josh here. Welcome back to another video. As you can tell in my intro already that I do have a VIN number assigned to my 2022 Tesla Model Y that I put an order in for a few months ago. So in this video today, I'm going to briefly hit the timeline that I was given and also to go over with you the MVPA, which is the Motor Vehicle Purchase Agreement. And that way you can see the final price sheet of what I'm paying for this Tesla. Tesla Model Y in comparison to what I was given earlier in the process. So if you're considering purchasing a Tesla, if you're in the process or you're waiting on delivery like I am, you can see what the road will look like ahead and some of the things that you can expect. So back in August of 2021, I put an order in for a Tesla Model Y and originally the delivery date was scheduled for December of 2021. However, it got pushed back all the way to April of 2022. It got moved up to the last part of December of 2021, March of 2022, January of 2022. And after I received my VIN number, I was given the date of February the 5th, which is today. However, a week later, after I was given the February the 5th date, they scheduled me to take delivery of my Tesla on Valentine's Day of 2022, which is February the 14th, if you didn't know. So all I really want to say there is when Tesla gives you a time frame of when your car is going to be delivered, it will change and it will keep changing. So I wouldn't really put that day or time frame on the calendar and pin just pencil it in because it will change so expect to see changes in those dates it's just roughly an estimate and it's not a given day or time frame that you're going to accept delivery of your tesla so going into that i would just keep that in mind so as far as the VIN goes i received a text message from tesla in mid-january telling me that my van was available and within a few minutes of receiving that text message tesla unlocked features in the app and that way I could upload things like insurance information. I opened up the option to pay for my car, which I did put the down payment for it that time. And also I was able to view an updated copy of my MVPA, which is your motor vehicle purchase agreement. And that is the final price sheet. And this will show you exactly the amount of the payments and everything that's due of the car and more information about the car. And just in case if you're having trouble finding your MVPA on your Tesla account. First, you want to log into your Tesla account and click on manage. And on the right of the page, you're going to see a section that says documents and all of the information, all of the documents can be found there. So after I viewed the MVPA and saw exactly what was needed from me, my credit union wanted a signed copy of the MVPA and Tesla already had Troy Jones, which is their VP name printed on the spot of the signature. So all I I did was printed out a copy of that, signed it, and sent the copy in to my credit union. So this is exactly what I'm paying for my 2022 Tesla Model Y. I'm just going to go down the MVPA sheet with you. As you can see, the final cost of the car, which is included with the delivery and transport fees, it was $55,440. Taxes came up to $3,659. And here in Georgia, the registration and fees came up to another $256.70 and also we have the Georgia Lemon Law which was $3 which is a total of $59,358.74 and the $250 order fee that I placed back in August of 2021 was also credited to that amount so it took that off of the 59,000 anyway. So however, I paid $14,808.74 as a down payment because I didn't have a trade-in. So I saved all of that money. And if you wanted to know how I saved $15,000 in six months, see the card on one of the sides up here. And I go through exactly what I did in order to save that money in such of a short period of time relatively speaking the fact that i'm a teacher that's kind of a big deal because we all know what teachers make 
The first person that types Tesla in the comment section, you would get $5 Amazon gift card. Hey, I was able to get a low interest rate with my local credit union at 2.2%. So I financed $44,300, which those payments are within the budget that I originally planned for because my budget was $600 a month. I didn't want to pay a penny over $600 a month for a car payment. And I'm now paying $580 a month. So that's a run down of what I'm paying for my Tesla Model Y and a little bit of the time frame that I was dealing with over the last seven months, leave down in the comment section below, where are you in this journey of purchasing a Tesla? Are you just considerate? You're still doing research? Are you awaiting delivery? And if you are, what model are you considering or what model are you waiting on? Leave all of that in the comment section down below. Check out more videos right over there about all things related to your finances and your Tesla subscribe and that way you don't miss anything or any other giveaways and I will see you in the next video